Give me your advice. Um, we have lots of folks listening in. We have so many comments. It's it's kind of overwhelming. So many people are like high fiving. I don't know if you guys can feel it. They're like high fiving you guys and amen to that um, through, through this this this, uh, this session. Thank you, you all. Um, uh, so, Lisa, what, uh, what's your advice in general for folks with kids who are looking to get licensed? Uh, you have to just go for it. You have to just do what you can do, get to a point when you, you feel just mildly confident, and then you have to just st schedule that exam and go to it and take it. You, there's only, that's the only way to do it. You can't put it off. You have to just go for it. And um, Joe, how about you? Well, the way I've described it to, to people in the past is, you know, I grew up in the mountains and we go to a lake and there's cliffs you can jump off of, and it's it's sort of... For me, it was just like that. It's you're standing on a cliff, and it's at one time kind of terrifying and maybe exhilarating. Ultimately, you know, you're you probably wouldn't do it again, <laughs> you know, if you had to. But <laughs> it's the same way. How do you how do you take that step? You just have to take it. There's no no magic to it. You just have to decide. And I would just again remind people that if I could give one piece of advice it's don't wait anymore because it won't get easier it, it, it will never there will never be some magic year or two years or three years after you have kids uh, that will just be way easier than everything else you can tell yourself you know when they're not an infant and they're not crying all night and sure but you know, the stress doesn't go away as they get older. It just changes form, uh, in, in my opinion. So do not wait. And, and again, I would underline the fact that, you know, everybody listening to this has gone through school. They've put in the hours at their job. They're, this is that next step. And it's a huge one. And you've earned it. You've worked really hard for it. And that number that state number is sitting right there. It's not going anywhere. It's nobody's going to hand it to you unless you take the time and the energy and, you know, use the tools you've learned as a parent to, to get there and, and take it. Sean, how about yourself? I like what Joe was talking about in terms of um, it's never going to get easier. Kids, even, even now teen kids, they have their, their demands. Um, but make, really find your pace and and make it go faster. I, I thought that I, you know, I had this four month thing, I should have done it faster and I could have done it faster. I had a boss at the time going, just take them all and just deal with it that way. Um, there is some truth to that, um, but finding that balance uh, for yourself um, and going a little faster. And, and I guess my last part is, don't take a break because taking a break it it's even harder to get back into yeah, that don't routine stop the train. right exactly yeah, I get had that to train take going breaks. and go I had to take a couple breaks um, just because logistically and each time I plunked the first one coming back in yep yeah uh, that was the same our class that we took there was a summer hiatus uh, like a month gap between and I was scared. I, I'm a creature of habit. Um, I'm definitely the the train analogy. The way I work, I'm, it takes a lot to get started, and and if I stop, it's bad. So I actually jumped ahead of the class at the end because I, simply because I was scared to to take a break. Um, yeah. Right. And it, it really is. Did any of you guys take advantage of the six month extension uh, to the rolling clock with the birth of each child? Um, I'll. Atara is um, uh, one of our listeners is asking that question. I did not. Lisa, Joe. I did not uh, either. I was I was actually really fortunate when I I took everything in 5.0 and and once I started in 5.0 I didn't didn't fail one so I was I was pretty lucky with that. Lisa, I did. I didn't know really about that extension. Um, it, that wasn't really a thing, I don't think. But, but I did, when I jumped into 5.0, I was happy that it gave me, it automatically gave me some kind of extension. And I was looking at my notes and I actually oh, yeah, I went that. over like a oh, month. Yeah. I've, yeah. I finished my last one like of five and five years and one month later. I, yeah, I hear that. My last three tests I took in two weeks separating them so I kind of 
force myself to just get it done before timelines. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I was really nervous about that. Mm -hmm. I, I would say too another, in, again in my opinion, but uh, uh, important thing is to the, the biggest motivator for studying is is to schedule it and go ahead and yeah, schedule yeah. them. I think one of my tests I had to push it back because I, I mean I think we were christening my son or something like that. But I absolutely had to push it back, but you know that hanging over you, uh, that 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 deadline, uh, you know, we're absolutely. all used to those. That you have to have those. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I remember that. <clears throat> that was great advice that I got as well. Um, so for all of you who are listening, when you're done with this webinar, I want you to ha to hop on the web and go schedule your your next exam if you haven't already. Schedule, schedule a couple. Yeah, that, sure, yeah, that's actually what I did. I scheduled all of mine, um, yeah. and boy, did it hold me accountable because I didn't want to spend the extra money. I just want to add one extra thing here. We've we've tried to sprinkle in some comments from the from the listeners. Carmen um, says she says I'm a single new mom, so congratulations, Carmen. I found getting to work yeah. two hours early and studying during lunch hour was the only free time I had. That sounds familiar to me. In fact. Um, I remember I used to have the same breakfast at this little corner restaurant every morning when I was studying that I still crave every once in a while. Um, mm -hmm. And she was asking about, um, and she also says she has a three-hour three hour commute back and forth to drop her kids off. And so she's asking about audio study material, and I would just mention that um, at Black Spectacles, we hear a lot of folks actually listen to our videos uh, in the car on their commute. Um, so I did that as well. You use yeah. it that way. so um, I am very close with Mike Newman, though, though we've never met. Uh, <laughs> it's really funny. We have uh, When we go to conferences and stuff and Mike is there, people just sort of like marvel at seeing him in person. It's really funny. I, I, I would have to attribute a li just some level uh, has to, of this has to go to, to, to him. Uh, yeah. He's a great asset. Great asset. He certainly is.